Right. We are going to start CVP analysis. What is CVP? This is cost, volume, and profit. Cost, volume, and profit analysis. But usually uh, we name this lesson as marginal costing because the thing is for the CVP analysis we are going to use the fundamentals of marginal costing but uh, it's not that much important for you because in advanced level syllabus you have to learn what is CVP analysis 20 marks question definitely will be there in your paper on this lesson it is only enough if you learn this lesson using the videos why definite 20 marks right so for this lesson and one more thing that is uh, in this type of videos you know the entire a to z the full lesson i can't discuss right and there is a certain background the all the background you know in the normal class I start the lesson from the very uh, beginning, from the initial things. This is how this has happened in that way. But here, uh, I have to uh, limit my discussion for some extent. So all the important thing, things I'll uh, let you know. And but uh, I have to summarize this, this in a manner because otherwise the video will be much uh, lengthy. So uh, this is the important thing. This is the fundamental. This is the basis for the CDP analysis. You know what is cost? Cost. In management accounting, we are going to discuss about cost. So the cost, all the costs in a firm, in a business, we are going to discuss that. You can categorize in two categories. Those are fixed and variable. This is the background for this lesson. All the costs of a business we can categorize into two categories as fixed cost and variable cost. I think as advanced level students you all should have the basic understanding the meaning of fixed cost and variable cost. Fixed means what? Fixed are fixed. That is. Those costs are always constant. The amount does not depend on the quantity that means when the level of production is zero just as you uh, I'll straight away take an example in the garment factory uh, you know the rent which is paid for the building although you are not manufacturing goods yet you have to pay the rent for the building even in this corona period if you have obtained a building on rent basis you have to pay the rent but no production if I show you the graph say this is quantity this is the cost just say the amount you pay is 100,000 although your production is in zero level still you have to pay this 100,000 when you increase the production say if you are manufacturing 10 garments yet your rent doesn't change say if the level of production is 20 minutes they are also the cost is same if the level of production is 30 they are, he also the cost is same therefore you can see the fixed cost curve which is parallel to the q axis understand so this is the behavior of fixed cost then what is variable cost variable is changing dynamic otherwise that depends on the level of production. If I show you in a diagram like this, this is quantity, this is cost. The nature of variable cost is if the level of production is zero, then no cost. When you're supposed to increase your production, if you manufacture one unit, say the cost is 200. I'll give you an example. If this is material used for the production in a garment factory, just say this 200 is the cost per one fabric meter. For one fabric meter, you have to spend rupees 200. So 
So the this is the point. Then, if you are manufacturing two units, then two hundred meter two. If you want two fifty meters, then you have to spend four hundred. That is how much here. If the level of production is three, then you want three meters of fabric. So the cost will be six hundred. That is here. You see the nature of the diagram, nature of the curve. When the level of production changes, increasing, the cost also rising, increasing. So this is the different behavior of the fixed cost and variable cost. You first understand the difference between fixed cost and variable cost. And uh, I ask you to think this in a garment factory. Just try to categorize the cost which you uh, which you think, which you get in your mind as fixed or variable. Say as an example, you have to just think. Imagine the type of cost in the garment factory, right? Uh, su supervisors, salary paid for the supervisors. What is that? That is anyway fixed. Uh, electricity, usually uh, that is fixed cost. And water that also fixed, right? And uh, for the variable cost, what are the examples? Direct labor cost or the labor cost or the salary paid for the production people, production employees. So these are uh, those are the fixed uh, variable cost. This is how we categorize fixed cost and variable cost. Is it clear for you? Then uh, take a bakery as the example. The material cost, the flour used for the production, that is a variable cost. Then salary paid for the production employee in the same example that also variable and uh, the other thing you know the variable other cost as royalty we know that puraskar right then those are variable all other costs you can take as fixed cost so the most critical important part in this lesson you should be able to understand whether this cost is fixed or variable is it clear? And there is another thing that we have to emphasize. In the practical world, some cost, we can exactly say whether it is fixed or variable. So the basic, basic example is electricity. Earlier I told you, electricity has fixed. But sometimes you might feel, is it fixed? Why? Although you are not using electricity, you have to pay some amount for the electricity bill. That is okay but when the production when the consumption increasing what happens to the electricity bill that increases so you might ask is it fixed or variable in fact that is neither fixed cost nor variable why that includes both components fixed and variable but in this lesson cdp analysis we take electricity as fixed why you must categorize all the cost as either fixed or variable. You are not allowed to use other type of classification for this reason. But in management accounting, I haven't discussed with you. There are different types of costs. We can categorize costs into different different types. There are around 10 cost classifications. But here in this lesson, CVP analysis, we say all the costs can be categorized into either fixed or variable. So, uh, having that in your mind, we'll uh, move on to the next part in the next video. Uh, so, uh, join, uh, join with us in the next video also. Okay, see you. Thanks.